As an artist, it's essential that we have a good website that's easy to update so that as we create new work, it's easy to put those images on our website. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step step how to create an artist website with FASO so that you can get your website up and running in less than an hour. I'll also talk about the things that I found work best on your website so that if you already have a website, you might be able to get some ideas on how to update it and just make it a little bit better. And so before you begin your actual website design, what I suggest is you check out some of your favorite galleries and basically take a look at their websites. And you know, this is like the look that you're going to want to align yourself with. And so, you know, if we look at a few of the galleries that I really love, Anna Zarina, for example, you can see that they have a really clean layout. This is actually their homepage. So they do have, you know, images of the different artists they represent right on their home page almost as if they don't have a home page it just gets to you just get taken into the website and there's sort of um, you know a grid of images and you can click on one and it'll take you you know further into um, larger images of the work and you can see that they have their logo at the top your logo will be your name just written in a certain font um, and then they have you know the list of tabs which you can click on to enter into the different categories of the website and so um, of course for us we'll have slightly different tabs we'll have like you know artwork or paintings maybe a drawings or commissions tab probably like an about and a contact tab but you can just see that like it's a white background it's all really clean and just um, really beautifully laid out um, and then uh, here's another one David Zwerner another really top gallery again a really clean layout they've got full-sized images on their um, home page and you can click on the tab for them it's artists for us it would be like artwork and you kind of get taken into the different artists that they represent and then from there you can click on that and they have theirs so that you see the full image um, no thumbnails in other words like not a small grid of images you just see the full image right there on the screen and you can kind of um, scroll down to get a little bit more information um, but again, a white background. We've got the logo in the upper left-hand corner. This is a pretty standard format, you know, and again, so your logo will be your name written in a certain font, and you'll use that all the time on, you know, your letterhead, on all of your correspondence. Um, and then to the right, we've got the row of tabs. Again, we'll have slightly different tabs, but it's very, very similar. And then here's one more, Fredericks and Fraser, another gallery that I really love. Um, again, just a really nice clean layout. They have a sort of slideshow showing on their homepage. That is actually really nice. I quite like that. Um, and then you can click on, you know, artists and get taken into the site where you see the list of um, artists and it's sort of a grid of images. And again, the, you know, logo in the upper left, the tabs in the upper right. Um, just really clean um, and beautifully laid out. So going from that, we can see that that's kind of the standard. You know, a word of caution, there are a few galleries out there that have, say, brown sort of backgrounds or black. I uh, would really kind of caution against things like that. I think that looks a little bit early 2000s or something. I think the white background is the best way to go, um, just really clean. And and so there's a few different options in terms of creating a website, but the very easiest is to use FASO. And so in this video, I'll show you step by step how to create an artist website with FASO. So if you click the link in the description of this class, you can sign up and get a free 30 day trial. And then I think the first year is $99. And after that, there'll be monthly rates that start at $12 a month. So once you sign up, you'll be taken to this page and you can scroll through and see that there's a number of really nicely designed artist website templates. So you can choose your favorite one. I like this one, Yishu, so I'll click preview and then I'll hit apply Yishu to your website and hit continue. From there, I'll click return to control panel and that'll take me into the inner workings of designing the website. Let's start with artwork images and we'll just hit add new artwork. It's all like very intuitive, very user-friendly. Wow, you can actually select from Instagram as well. I'll definitely just choose my device because I have a folder. And then you can just drag and drop from your computer. I'm just gonna select the images that I want to include on my website and just drag and drop right onto the screen. Then we'll just hit upload. It takes a moment to upload. 
Excellent, and then all of the images are up. And in terms of the image selection, you'll wanna be really careful that you only include your very best artwork on your website. So even just nine images is okay. Um, it's like if you include even one painting that's of a lesser quality than the rest, people assume that all of the rest of your work is of that lesser quality. But if you just are super selective and only include your highest quality work, people will actually assume that there's so much more than that. So once your images are uploaded, continue and you can just kind of add in the information it's so easy I'm doing this for the first time right now actually and um, it's it just walks you through it all like it's just so easy to do and there is a section to add the price and the availability I'm actually not gonna do that but that could be a good thing to do I tend to keep that information off of my website so basically people just email me and get the information that way but some artists do have you know the inclusion of price and availability and things like that and it, it could sort of make it very easy for someone to purchase a piece so that's up to you so once i've got all of that filled in i just hit next step and you can arrange the order that you want the works to be shown in so just kind of drag and drop and kind of arrange the order into i think it's good to have um you know kind of think about a certain flow to the works where one ties into the next ties into the next you know this one has a bit of fire and then we've got the explosion and you want to definitely start with your very best piece first and then end with a piece that's sort of like your second best so start strong and end strong in terms of the order so next i'll hit save and continue and then you can just look through all the images in fact as i was doing it i was thinking i might go ahead and delete this one so again just to be really selective about the pieces that you're including less is is better instead of having you know one piece that's um, yeah, less, less good. And so it looks like it's basically done um, in terms of uploading the images. So let's go to the next section. In fact, let's go to home. So the next thing we'll wanna do is click register a personalized domain. And so in terms of the website name, I would always suggest yourname.com. So for me, like christygordon.com. And the absolute miracle of FASO is that they actually like host your domain and your website for you. So whereas it took me like a month to figure out like how to register my domain name and how to like get like a web host to host my website and stuff and it still seems like a miracle that I ever figured it out with um, fast so that is all taken care of in this one single click of a button like right away so it's absolutely amazing so I'll just click search and oh yeah I guess my other website is already using christygordon.com so for the purposes of this demo I'll look for the web name Christy Gordon Art and search for that but you'll just do the search for your name and hopefully it'll be available click return to the control panel and so my website name is christygordonart.com let's go ahead and add any other images for instance we'll add the studio shot maybe i'll put this one as my studio shot and we'll hit continue yeah i'm just like blown away let's call this like christy and studio and we'll exclude from watermarking, save changes. Okay, good, and then we'll exit that. So I am, I'm just blown away by how easy the whole thing is so far. Um, let's set up my site. So then now we see this panel over here and we'll want to set up the site's homepage and we'll choose the image that'll be featured on the homepage. I'll choose what I consider to be my best work. Oh, you could also use a slideshow in the home page. Actually, I think that's quite nice. But for the purposes of this demo, I'll just stick with a single image. Um, I don't think that the site needs a lot of text. We'll save changes. We'll just see how that looks. And now we'll go to the about page. Biography headline about the artist. And in there, we'll add our artist biography. So I've just copied and pasted from the Word file of my artist biography. And actually at the bottom, it looks like we've got some extra formatting information. So we can just delete all of that. Okay, so the bio looks good now. So let's add an image. And I actually had added an image before, but I wanted to show you how I did it. So this would have said, choose an image. 
Um, in this case, I'm going to click Change Image. And I've already selected the image from my computer. Um, when you do it, you'll just kind of go through your folders and just locate the file that you want to add and click on it. And now we can see the picture in there so we know that that's working. And we'll hit Save Changes. And then I can see that we've got this nice navigation tool that kind of shows us what tabs we've got on our website. Let's click on Galleries, and in the Galleries tab, we'll hit Add New and type in the information of any of your gallery affiliations. And then we'll click Add and Save Now. And then I'll click back to Edit Categories. And from there, let's take a look at editing the navigation bar. Um, this is where you can kind of see the different categories that you have in your website. I've got paintings about galleries and contact. Let's kind of drag and drop um, to rearrange the order. If it goes like this, it's sort of under. I don't want it there. And um, we could edit the navigation heading. So this is like your site. Um, mine said Christy Gordon Fine Art before. I'm just going to have it say Christy Gordon. And you can rename the categories um, by just clicking on it and typing in the title. And I'll hit save. And I'll also click this check mark to save the changes to the navigation heading. Okay, good. So that has been saved. And so the only thing left to do is to edit the social media icons. So I'll click this section at the top here that says social. And let's go ahead and link to each of these. And I'll just enter in the um, links to each of these things. So let's see, Instagram, that's my Instagram. Okay, so I don't, I don't need all of them, but we've got Facebook, Twitter. Let's take the icon for Pinterest off. Uh, oh, wait a minute, Twitter icon, yes. Pinterest, no. Google Plus, no. LinkedIn, no. You could do a LinkedIn page. Um, I just find that it's not as important as Instagram. It's extremely important. And no for Tumblr. And I've got my YouTube in there. So we'll save those changes. And so that should basically be everything. Uh, let's go back to the home page and let's preview. We'll hit the preview button there to see how my website's looking. So it's taken me to, you know, the website, which is on the web now, christygordonart.com, and it looks amazing. I can hardly believe it. Like, it just was so easy. So the homepage looks really clean, really beautiful. You know, just Christy Gordon at the top. We've got the different categories. If we click on paintings, you know, we can see all of the different paintings, and if we hover over it, we get the information about the painting. I do like this template because it shows the full image of the painting, um, and it sort of actually figures out the best size and sort of format to kind of fit it all into a nice grid while still not cropping the paintings. I think that's really nice. Under the About page, we've got the artist bio and a photo of my studio shot. Under Galleries, we've got all of the contact information of the galleries that represent me. Under each page, we've got the social media icons, which is wonderful. And then the contact page where people can submit, you know, any any comments or questions through that. So it's it's really beautiful. I'm actually just blown away. And then just a quick note, if you ever decide you want to change templates, you could go to the Site Design Center and just click Site Template. And you can actually toggle, you know, between different templates and try out different looks then click Apply Levenston to your site, for example. And from there, you'll get a whole new look. Everything will be sort of transferred over. Um, and then you can click Return to Control Panel. And let's click Preview. And you can kind of see what the differences from the different templates are. Um, it looks like this one. The social media icons are at the top, which is quite nice. Um, the mailing list is actually quite clean at the bottom. I actually quite like this one. And I know that the paintings will be arranged a little bit differently too. They'll be more of um, this sort of side-to-side uh, -side movement um, where you can kind of scroll through and see the different options that way. Um, the rest will probably appear fairly similar. 
Um, but that's, you know, one different option. But I do quite like the Yishu one, so I'm just going to switch back to Yishu. So, yeah, I think it looks really amazing. Um, again, I mean, my other website, which was designed in WordPress, took like over a month to figure out how to do, and I had to pay someone to do it. And it's actually a miracle that it was ever sorted out. And here with FASO, you can get the whole thing up and running and looking beautiful in less than an hour. So go ahead and click the link in the description of this class to go to the FASO site. I'm just blown away by how easy that was. So I hope you found this video helpful and that you create a really beautiful website to showcase your work.